My name is Merlinda Shalette, and I'm from Arlington, Texas, and I am a stage four kidney cancer patient. And I got diagnosed, it'll be three years in August of 2015. I am also a stage four kidney cancer patient. I'm also a volunteer here at the hospital. This is when I met Melinda. Mm -hmm. We went to visit the lab, and I think we were the first people, as patients, who had ever visited the lab. So we stuck, struck up a rapport with the lab people there. And we were asked to take part and be uh, patient advocates. So I became a patient advocate, my wife became a patient advocate, and one other person. And um, so that started our involvement with, with Dr. Bergerolas. He basically asked us if we would take it one step further and become a volunteer in, within the clinic and, and come in and volunteer and, and basically do what I did with Melinda. And that's talk yeah. to them, inform them, alleviate their fears, especially if they're um, relatively new to the game. The cool thing was I came for my next appointment and he was in the waiting room passing out nourishments, That's right, yeah. refreshments, Part I guess. my duties. Yes. He was pleasant enough to stop what he was doing and uh, started talking with me and giving me just overwhelming encouragement. When I went for my first infusion, nobody told me what it was going to be like and what was going to happen. That's what the volunteer program is about just encouraging people to continue on to persevere because you just need a buddy or someone that's going to encourage you to endure, to continue on. A person that's not going through the disease process can't really tell you what the experience is like, but when you meet a fellow cancer patient with the same kind of cancer you have and they are walking this journey the same as you, it's just it's 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 such a piece of comfort to meet a fellow cancer survivor that is walking the same journey you are. When, when I first started volunteering, I didn't think I was going to make any difference uh, whatsoever. But after being here for, for six months and interacting with the other patients, uh, I, saw, I do realize now that you do make a difference. When I um, met Tony, I said, it's like I walked into the city of hope. And uh, it just, um, it's just priceless.